Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. It's a little breezy today, you may hear it. Spent half the day looking for a turbo I misplaced. Found the front half of it. Haven't found the CHRA. I remember telling myself I was going to move it out of the way so I wouldn't damage it. Can't remember where I put it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take a break. Flash uh, another tune on Panther. Go do some pools on it probably swing by the junkyard and uh, maybe do a couple other things about to flash a new tune get everything set up control F and preparing to erase starting to erase flowing right along I'll uh, come back when my flashing progress gets a little closer to being done here. It is moving right along, about a minute into it. Moving right along, about two and a half minutes into it. Verifying checksum, flashing completed. I am good to go. Two and a half minutes. Let me hook everything back up. See if the car fires up. Reconnected my fan. Fire right up. I'm going to leave the computer and everything hooked up. Go do a pull. Then go by. Uh, check a couple things. I'm out here at this Volvo C70. Man, that thing still got a plug and a fog light. Anyway, this C70 had a upgraded stereo system installed in it. Uh, it's called Dyn Audio. I don't know if that was an Alpine system or a Dolby system or what. But it had two subwoofers. Nine inch each behind the uh, back seat. I got those. Now I'm trying to get the wiring harness for it, which of course is entangled in everything else in this vehicle. It also had a switch back here behind the center console that I pulled and the wiring going up through there. Dolby speaker up here. Uh, uh, Adobe processor in it. It's got these crossover networks. S look at that. Looks like a freaking 8 inch driver in the door. So what I'm out here trying to do is get all of the wiring to that uh, stereo system. You see there. There's speakers over there. And that speaker cluster. You got a tweeter and a mid-range driver. So I'm trying to get all these speakers out of this vehicle and I'm going to try to put all this in my P80 sedan which is my yellow car. So I'm going to keep plugging away at this and uh, hopefully I can get this uh, out of here and do a demonstration of installing it. There's even a speaker behind there where this one is missing here so I don't know if I'll be able to find that or not uh, yeah there it is there so I'm going to pull the dash now and get the wiring that's going up there and then just keep plugging away pulling these crossover networks so far I found a big crossover network back there after I got the driver out and there's a, some kind of crossover network here for these for this stereo and I'll just uh, if I find any more I'll let you know 
Sun's about to set. Got some more of that custom stereo from that C70. I got the front door speakers, the dash speakers, and the wiring harness to such. So I just got to get a, the rear side speakers and the wiring harness. And then I'll be set to hopefully get that in the spring. So I'm getting ready to uh, try an experiment with Panther. The uh, mechanic, Thomas, down there at Winston Chuck said, my coil may be lazy. That may be causing my issues with my, uh, what do we call that? My knock. So let me see if I get that coil that I got out of storage, and I'll try to toss that in real quick and see if I still get knocked. Well, look like I can't put this coil on because the coil wire is not the proper size. So I'll find the coil wire, try this out, tail in, taking it easy with the pen. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.